What's up babes? It's Curly's of Victoria. If you're new to my channel, thanks for tuning in. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. So yes, sis, you read the title right. Um, we are going to be sipping and talking about business and getting our ish together and how to get our ish together, why it's important to get our ish together, and we're going to be sipping while we're doing it. So if you're at home and you don't have children, then your house is probably quiet like mine. <laughs> okay, okay, let me not be. If you have children, they're in the other room, coloring or playing games, then it's okay. You can get you you can get you a bottle of wine as well, as long as they're being chaperoned. And uh, join me in this conversation. So I have two wines to choose from. I have Pinot Noir, which I got this from my um, farmer's market. And I was so, so tempted to try it. You guys know my favorite color is black. So your girl wanted the bottle just because it was black. Then it's Pinot Noir. So I was like, mm, okay. And then um, the guy who I talk to all the time when I go in the store, he um, said he hadn't tried this. And normally like I like to get his opinion on stuff because I feel like he has like the same type of taste that I probably would have so long story short this um wine basically features dark cherry and plums with a sweet toast uh toasted oak aroma and spice that enhances the fruit profile so this is more of a like sweet little drink okay moving on let's talk about the velvet devil I picked this one up uh is Merlot I do like Merlot um and this is from Washington State but I got it from Publix and the um, it was one of the, the wine bottles that I seen everywhere so I was like I want to try this um, let me see if this one tells us you know how that other one gave us more descriptive it didn't give us much of a description it's just know that it is um, Merlot if you have Merlot you know Merlot so these are the two bottles that we are trying to figure out tonight y'all I'm struggling because they're both gonna get drink it's just which one am I gonna open first I guess Let's go with the Velvet Devil. Yeah, let's go with this one tonight. So let's see what this is about. Alrighty. Alright, whoa. Whoa, wait for it, wait for it. Okay, I'm cooking dinner too. So dinner's on the stove. Um, I'm going to try not to get too lit because, you know. But I'm just going to have it in a nice little glass, little nothing. Strong. Like, I know Merlot is strong, but this is so strong. Like, you don't even need a lot of this to be lit, baby. You don't. But let's get into how to glow up, how to get it, how to get our life, how to get our ish together. So, first things first. You need to dedicate a time frame. I don't care if it's tonight tomorrow morning this weekend the sooner the better but you need to write down everything that you can think of that you need to handle okay guys so before my camera decided it wanted to go ahead and die and then come back to life um we were talking about slaying goals I, i'm trying to remember where we left off where we left off because we went for a whole phone uh camera charge um talking about slaying goals things you need to do um oh back okay so we were talking about that was a good catch um making sure that you get a list of whatever it is you need to do in order to get your ish together you have to know what you're supposed to be getting together if you don't know what you're getting together how are you going to get it together? I'm just saying. Don't think that that was all that deep. I'm just saying. Y'all. This Merlot. It's almost like it tastes like it's supposed to be a man's drink. Like this Merlot is like the whiskey of the whiskeys. You know what I mean? So basically um, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get all of those things you need to do i'm talking about from your everyday bills to if you're a student your coursework um if you are behind on bills those bills if you have saving and investing goals those goals and whatever they are whatever you owe whatever you need to do you need to basically combine all of those things and work on 
putting those into like a list so that you can slowly begin to get your ish together by simply going through that list and getting done what you need to do so for example if you know this week basically you have five bills coming up and you don't have them on auto pay and you need to make sure that you pay them on time then you need to put that on your to-do list to either enroll these accounts into auto pay or you need to put it on your to-do list to make sure that you're not late when doing it make this the last month that you are late with what you have going on let's just say this month is going to be the month where you might be late but you're going to get it together by december take these next 25 to 30 days or 25 days 26 days of the month to get your ish in order once december rolls around you should be starting to put into practice all of the things that you worked on from this month that way when we roll into the month of january there isn't a oh well i didn't you know i couldn't do this because x y and z i didn't have you will already have it together so that's what i would encourage you guys to do um for that Cause that's going to be huge i mean that's like so huge it's almost like like i said before you can't get it together if you haven't gathered it you know what i mean so if you are going through your days and you're just like i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that but there's no structure it's going to make it really difficult for you to get things done for example i woke up this morning before i w woke up this morning last night i already had a list of what to do today cleanup was my goal i had school work which once i'm done filming these videos um it is 6 17. i have an assignment that's due by tonight it's not going to take me long once i read what it is but i have it on my to-do list to do my homework and i had it on my to-do list to start working on cleaning my room cleaning my bathroom and cleaning and organizing my closet have I gotten all of that done no but did I get the bulk of the job done yes but I already had it on my to-do list as to what I would be doing today um as far as food I know you guys are thinking like food yes even all the way down to my meals that I was going to consume that was on the to-do list I knew that I didn't want to really go buy food. I wanted to eat what I already had in the house. And I had to basically make sure everything was going to match and I was going to have something good enough to eat. But I already knew what I would be eating today. I already knew that I'd be drinking water. I already knew what I was going to be doing today. I knew I was going to film videos. It was already on my to-do list. Now, could you imagine if I woke up this morning and I was just like, oh, what should I do today? Or what could I do today? do you know how much like how more how much more difficult that would have been trying to scavenge through my day and figure out what to do what to get done so right now we're doing really good on time at 6 17. i'm gonna interrupt my um recordings very soon so that i can um basically clean finish cleaning but i want to do my assignment before you know i get caught up and it gets too late and i don't do the assignment so that's going to be on the priority list um another way to get your ish together is to basically wherever it is that you do your work in the house i know some people go to their daily nine to five jobs some people are entrepreneurs whatever if you are striving for entrepreneurship you want residual income you want to be the better version of yourself and you don't want to just go to your nine to five every day you just you might have other talents I encourage you to make sure sorry guys my camera storage was filling up but um wherever you work wherever you do your work for the day wherever you post up at when you're home make sure that your desk area is in a spot that could get a lot of natural lighting and you're thinking like why what does that have to do with anything well when you work you don't want to be in like a environment that's like somber like you know that's kind of like melancholy because it has the ability to affect your mood i literally had to move my desk from the living area and put it in my room simply because my desk area was not getting enough natural lighting so i moved it in the room where i knew when i opened the blinds all of the natural lighting was coming in my room was well illuminated and i could sit down and i could actually work without feeling dismal um because of the lighting 
So make sure that you put your desk or you put your workspace in somewhere that is well lit because I promise you, you will notice that you will have more productivity. When you're sitting somewhere that's darker and you have your desk and you don't have enough lighting and you're feeling like, uh, because the space is like, uh, you're going to be like tapping out quick. You're going to be done with whatever you're done with. You're going to be like, okay, I did an hour. I'm done. When you're sitting in a room full of light and you're working and you're passionate about what you're doing, two hours go past, three hours go past, four hours go past, all because you have set yourself in a space of growth, in a space of literally to be enlightened. So I definitely encourage you to do that. Another way to get your ish together is to stop hanging with people who have no desire to get their ish together. I've had many a people I've had to cut off. Some people know they're cut off. Other people have no idea. But they will soon find out when they realize that they no longer hear from me. Is it to be mean as society would deem it? Or is it truly you don't fit my space anymore? So for me, if we're not going the same places or I can't have a conversation with you about growing, what am I doing still being around you? Now, I understand that some people are in your life for certain aspects, but they should at least have a level of wanting to grow. What you don't realize is when you allow that negative energy to sit around you, you don't realize how it is affecting you. It's almost as though when you let, when you make cucumber and tomato and you put them in onion, I mean in um, vinegar and you let them sit, they marinate. They begin to have a very potent smell. Obviously we love cucumber salad, but it gives off a strong scent. It also gives off a strong taste. Before the vinegar, the fruit had no, you know, smell, no anything like they were fresh. So the vinegar came along and it created this potent smell. It created this, you know, to some it might be distasteful. It's the same thing in life. You don't want to be that fresh fruit allowing those additives to come and soak the flavor out of you. The people who are not meant to be around you, who are not meant to be in your life, stop trying to spare them. You do not have to hate or wish anyone bad or ill to dissociate yourself away from them. I could love you with all my heart, but not be around you. I could wish you the best, still not be your friend. Society has to get out of the mindset that when someone's cut off, that there's beef associated with it, that there's an issue, that there's drama, that there's something. Those connotations, those stigmas, those stereotypes are not always the case. Do not let someone sit and, you know, basically soak the freshness, soak the goodness out of you. Be who you are. Remain enlightened. But watch who you keep around you. Yes, it's been said multiple times. Statistics have showed it. Studies have been done. The people who are going to support you in your business the most are going to be absolute strangers. People who don't know you from a can of paint. Stop thinking that the people who are surrounded by you are the ones who are going to be your number one supporters. You ever heard of the term, keep your, or heard of the phrase, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer? Well, yeah, that's because when you look to your left and you look to your right, everyone isn't going to be for you. Some people are intuitive. Some people have discernment. Some people do not. And for the ones who do, you know what I'm saying. And for the ones who do not, just begin to be a little more attentive and you will see exactly what I am saying. So to sum this all up, because I can talk all day when it comes to bettering yourself and when it comes to becoming better, wanting success, and needing to literally separate to elevate. To conclude this, let's start tonight by getting our ish together, by writing out a to-do list. Let's start writing out a I need to get this done list. You know what I mean? We need to prioritize what we need, what we want. I have another bit um, video that's going to be coming out very soon that's going to be talking about how you can invest small um, and then eventually invest greater. 
by simply doing a couple things that you didn't know that you could actually stop doing either for a lifetime or for a period of time to jumpstart your investment account. So make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm hoping that I can get this up for you guys tonight. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel and make sure you beautiful babies go ahead and subscribe. It's only your love something. But why does it feel like it's too something?